think you're watching day or night x x is for exotics and i got a real quick question that i wanted to address and this question just came through one of my comments on another video it's actually uh, it was a question in the comment section to another video it's a ball python video actually but this uh, is more than about about ball pythons this is about uh, just breeding and being a caregiver to exotic animals to begin with a lot of people ask me like who are my influences to like what direction i want to go breeding first of all i don't have any of my animals for breeding um, breeding is a side effect to something that I do because I enjoy the overall um, aesthetic of having an exotic animal and to play that process out sometimes you need to go ahead and have your animal breed uh, as in the case of my my bearded dragon she's a female I do plan on getting on her male and uh, producing some babies with her because that's what they're on this planet for I feel like they're not fulfilled the last time fulfilled in certain cases if you haven't given them the opportunity to breed, all my ball pythons will have the opportunity to reproduce if they choose to. Um, same with my tarantulas if I can help it. So, and all of my leopard geckos have the opportunity to breed. So that's part of a life cycle. They're not just sitting in a box and I'm just leaving them alone. I'm actually trying to do uh, things with them that is more natural to them. And what comes natural to all of us who have a heartbeat is breeding. I don't really have any influences of what I want to do breeding wise. So any project that I plan on doing is strictly based on what I like as uh, somebody who likes certain things and certain animals just like everybody has different tastes in cars and clothing and music and movies and television everybody has different tastes in animals so, so whatever I breed is not in competition with anybody else it's what I want in my collection meaning I'm looking for holdbacks more than anything am I gonna sell stuff of course I am most likely, I'll be selling more locally at my um, at the Machinist Hall where we do the local uh, Show Me Snakes uh, Expo. And if, by the way, if you're from St. Louis, Missouri, this is all to my St. Louis Missourians and anybody in Missouri, the Illinois area, uh, the Bi-State area. If you haven't been to Show Me Snakes, go to Show Me Snakes uh, Expo. My goodness, that show went from this size <laughs> when I first started going to it to now. It's it's fucking huge. It's an amazing event, and um, I have not been able to vend there yet. I'm going to vend there in 2018. I'm going to start vending there because I have a shitload of leopard geckos I need to sell. And um, have some, you know, so if you haven't been to that, if you're in the Bay State area, uh, please go check that out. That's a little shameless Missouri, Illinois state plug. If you're not from here, you know, from out of state, it's a really nice show. I mean, it's not Tinley or anything, but it, it's, it's a great show. So back to the topic. Obviously, there are certain things that I like. In ball python let's just start with ball pythons there's certain things i like in ball pythons so obviously like when i got um this guy that is a black fire head orange ghost male i got him primarily for breeding because i want to see what he does with a lot of my females in my collection like my banana spider and my um my my fire spider and my uh my, my centipede and things like that right so i got that for that when I get tarantulas, I'm not thinking breeding when I get a tarantula, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting a tarantula because most of the time you don't even, if it's something really cool like a Pima talc like I had, I don't even have a choice of what the sex is, so how am I thinking breeding when I don't even know what sex I'm going to have? Uh, leopard geckos, never once bought one thinking I'm going to, I'm going to get this and this. I just get them because they look cool and I love leopard geckos. And once they bred and I got them out and I, I started looking at the ones I like, most of them I hold back. I'm a sucker for albino anything. I don't care if it's al a ball python, leopard gecko, you know, uh, I don't care what it is. If it's albino, I'm holding it back. And I hope I have mostly uh, tremper albinos in my collection. So I end up holding back a lot of those uh, geckos. Again, I have a shitload of geckos, uh, you know, so uh, I'm not holding back all of them, but that's kind of what I like. I like albinos, you know, I like tremper albinos and leopard geckos. I like uh, Max Snows. I like, uh, I have a Galaxy Snow Eclipse, you know, so don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Just do what you like. You know, if you do what you like, all of your projects are going to work out just fine because you're passionate about that project when you start trying to do what other people are doing that's when you're going to fail and that's my opinion because you're never going to be able to catch up to what everybody else is doing so why do it you know um if you like those animals that are producing just like i do i love banana spider i didn't produce my banana spider when i bought it i i wanted to produce my own pie ball couldn't went out and bought it uh, albino went out and bought it blue eyed leucistic went out and bought it you know queen bee went out and bought it uh Pesto genetic stripe. I went out and bought it. I'm trying to get the animals that I want so in the future I can produce what I want um, based on those. You know, so I, I'm kind of taking my ideas and put them in a melting pot. What I get out of those later, who knows, right? But that's the fun of the journey, right? 
Um, unless you have, you know, 250 ball pythons or, you know, 80 ball python breeding pairs, it's really hard for you to produce anything, especially if those are not, you know, five, six, seven gene ball python combos. And again, I keep going to ball pythons. This could be anything. You know, you could talk about leopard geckos. You can talk about anything. I, I'm going back to ball pythons because uh, the question was uh, stemmed from a ball python video that I did. But this could be anything. This could be bo uh, boas. It could be anything. Do what you like to do best. Be passionate about what you're producing. That's my advice. So you asked me what I'm working on. Um, I'm working on whatever I like. I don't really have specific projects. Anybody who's watching any of my videos, you know, I don't really have any specific projects that I try to plan out around things because it just gets too, uh, I mean, it's too far down the road for me to be like, I'm going to pinpoint this and this is what exactly what I'm producing. Unless it's a recessive gene or some kind of, um, you know, something like that in ball pythons, because ball pythons really is the only thing I'm really looking at breeding project-wise where I'm like, I'm excited about producing this, this, and this. And really all of that stems from my black uh, fire uh, ball python, you know, uh, what he can produce. Everything else, whatever I get, whatever I decide to do, I haven't even got all the ball pythons I want to get yet. You know, I don't even know what I might have in a few years, so it's really hard for me to say exactly what I'm working on with that. You know, whatever you have in your collection, whatever you plan on adding, it's fine. As long as you're passionate about it, you're going to produce some really sweet stuff if you're passionate about it. Because you are passionate about it. You're going to want the best out of every project you have. So whatever you produce is going to be sweet. Somebody's going to want it if you're just thinking selling purposes. And you, I'm sure you're going to want to hold back a lot. You know, because if you're passionate about this project, you're going to want to hold back and keep that bloodline going and keeping those uh, patterns going and keeping those that blushing going in your collection. You're going to want to keep that, you know. So um, that's my advice. And again, that, go, that extends to anything exotic pets, you know. Um, when it comes to breeding, don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Just do you. And speaking of which, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the notification button so you don't miss an episode. And I will see all of you on the next one. Be safe, be you, and be genuine. See you on the next one.